Well, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. It is Christmas Eve, about 9 o'clock-ish. It's been a week or so since I put a video up, so I figured I'd throw one up real quick. And then just to say, happy, you know, Merry Christmas and all that stuff. Uh, 63 Chevy is still here. Just about got it licked. I got a lot of the red wiring ripped out. Uh, things are starting to come together. So hopefully, 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 it'll be gone by uh, New Year's weekend. Gauges are in. They're all wired in. Fixed a couple coolant leaks. Secured all the hoses. Redid most of the wiring. It's getting there. But the most important part is it's all the extra wire is ripped out. I've got a fuse panel. There is the dash for the door lockers and the airbag switches and uh, there's a couple other things. Gauges are all in. You want to talk about a pain in the butt trying to get those two gauges in. Because you can't see nothing from the bottom. And the best part is these gauges, they're... Uh, they're uh, what the heck are these things called now? Oh, TPI Tech. I never even heard of them. I had to go online to see how they even hooked up because they're kind of different. The company went out of business. So, and re the reviews I've seen online for them, yeah, they're uh, they're great. Got the shift linkage working, so now it shifts good. That was way out of adjustment. Plus, some of it was stripped out. Uh, he wanted a battery box out of this old cooler, so I got that figured out. It's held on with two wing nuts. Take the wing nuts off, you can pull it out, get the battery out. It's all secured. Cables wrap around the back, all grounded. I got the circuit breaker for the air compressor, relay. Uh, like I said, it's getting there. Engine-wise, I don't know. Supposedly the engine builder wants to fire it up. I guess the engine hasn't even been fired yet. So that's not my problem. And judging by a few things on there, I don't really want to start it. So I'm happy he wants to start it. <laughs> then it won't be my problem. And uh, let's see. Got a couple things for the old 54 Chevy, but haven't touched it. Pretty much exactly how it was when... Uh, Last did the video, I did get my collectors in, and my uh, gas or flanges for the headers, power steering bracket, you know, just piddly stuff that when I was shopping for parts for the 63, figured I might as well get this stuff coming because I'll need it. I could have sworn I had a couple short water pump power steering brackets, but I believe I used them all up already. And you just can't find that stuff no more. But lucky for me, they reproduced it, and it was relatively cheap. Uh, you know, just got a gas pedal. Could have made one, but for the price of that, it didn't even pay. The only thing I did pay for, and probably the most expensive thing I've bought in for just like a luxury sort of deal, is a low-car shifter. I've never owned one of them. Everybody else seems to have one, so this will be the first one I've ever owned. Everybody seems to like them. And uh, that's about it. And it's been a pretty uneventful couple weeks. I mean, I've just been working on that car and uh, work. Well, got another Model A engine in. That happened last week. I think it was Sunday. So now we got two of them. <laughs> pretty cool. Unless you don't like Model A engines, then it won't be cool for you. Alright, now I'm babbling. But, uh, Merry Christmas. And I'm sure I'll get a video up before New Year's, so I'll save the old Happy New Year's until next week. But, yeah, Merry Christmas. Hope everybody has a great day tomorrow. And enjoy your family and, you know, sit back and relax. So, talk to you all later.